Air Benders, what is up? It's your girl Raven, aka Rainbow Bright, the Pink Panther Patty herself. And how are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. So is my dog Odin. All right, so Air Benders, this reading will be for the air signs, okay? That's for my Libra, my Gemini, my um, goodness gracious, Aquarius. I almost said Aries. I don't know why I said that. Okay, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, those are my airbenders, and that's what this reading is for. Cross watchers, you are welcome to watch as well. But before I get started, I want to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who is showing love and support on this channel. Um, all the thumbs it up, all the sharing of videos, all the nice comments, and just you just telling me, you know, how that resonated for you. I really enjoy that, and I really, really appreciate it. I am so ecstatic at how the channel is growing. I have a new microphone, so, you know, we're moving on up a little bit, little so Surely, but surely. Okay, somebody outside yelling. Well, maybe that might drive the energy of the reading here, airbenders. Somebody outside yelling. Holy Spirit. I think yeah, even Odin heard it. Odin woke up for that one. <laughs> Holy Spirit, please tune me into the energy of my airbenders, my air signs. That's my Libra, my Gemini, my Aquarius energies. Please help me to deliver a clear, concise message. And protect me from any you as I do so. Yeah. All right, so you're dealing with a karmic situation here, okay? Someone may have been trolling your TikTok, your social media platform. You might have you might have a platform on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Someone is trolling you. They're about to be busted for this though. Receipts busted because God said so. What else, spirit? Okay. You may um, have found out or you're about to find out that someone here is living a double life. Spirit is asking you to please move on from this. Okay. So, someone is not who they appear to be. Okay. Someone here, um, this is definitely a karmic situation here. Um, this karmic energy, I don't have much info on yet, but the energy just seems to feel like someone here who just, um, is about to be busted here for living a double life, being in a karmic situation, trolling you, trolling your social media, watching you, and they're about to be busted because spirit is stepping in. Okay. All right. Air signs. Let's, let's get into this, huh? Okay. Let me arrange these as so. Okay, Holy Spirit, please clarify the receipts, the because God says so, please move on from this and live in a double life for my air signs. Please keep me tuned into the frequency of my air benders, my Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energies. Someone you may have separated yourself from, or this also represents an online community. We have privacy separate online community with the introvert card. So this may be someone who is an introvert, um, who doesn't really go out much. Maybe they spend most of their time, you know, inside or online. Um, they're more social online than what they are in person. Um, someone who enjoys their privacy. Someone you may have separated yourself from, though. Okay, we have luck here. That's the jackpot, the fortune, the reward. Someone you may have separate. You may have separated yourself from someone here. Or someone that may have separated themselves from you may be looking, uh, may be receiving some sort of luck or fortune or reward. You may have separated yourself from somebody, and when you did that, you know, you received a fortune. It was like a jackpot. What's this luck? Or something. Loneliness. Dullness, disappointment, isolation. What's this loneliness? Hold on one second. Someone has been watching you online. They've been watching you win. They've been watching you win. You may have been winning the lottery and made it on the news or something. Talk. Someone here that it has separated themselves from you is watching you win. They're watching at home alone. They're disappointed in it. They're they're lonely. They feel isolated from this. They feel isolated from your victory here. You have separated yourself from this person, and therefore you have. May have you may have cut an etheric cord, which is like an energy cord, you know what I'm saying, where they were sucking your energy here. They're seeing you achieve your goals here. They're seeing this is justice. Okay, because somebody wasn't listening. Okay. 
what's going on here is that somebody here is as i feel like karma energy okay it seems like somebody here is being made to watch you win from a state of loneliness and depression and isolation here and this is fair and, and balanced here with the justice here because somebody here would not listen so somebody here you may have received proof that somebody here was living a double life doing something you may have tried to tell them somebody might have tried to tell them don't do this and this might have been what's this double life energy what were they doing someone here may have been smiling in your face acting like they were on your side i'll let jazz and then behind closed doors they might, they might have been doing something dark or karmic okay val what's this val someone's uh living a double life where they're praying to somebody praying to um stop somebody break pause stagnation here with the stop card someone here this double life energy someone was celebrating with you in your face but then behind your back they were just like evil eye on you like sending you negative energy just vowing to break you to make you pause to make you feel stagnant somebody is vowing to stop you and they went and they're stubborn someone here you may have tried to tell them someone tried to warn this person not to come against you but they vowed this is a vow they were wishing they were hoping they were worshiping here that you would stop here and and you know this is stressing them out they wanted you to be stressed and overloaded here what's this please move on from this Spirit is telling you to move on because it's time to plant new seeds, okay? You're being initiated. You may have gotten a spiritual promotion here. This is also your creativity. So you're being initiated into your creativity, into your purpose here. You're planting new seeds, okay? This is your vitality. You're, you're going to be abundant here. What else? It's time to leave it behind. Yeah, you, you're getting proof of this or evidence is going to come out about this. Detection, investigation, proof. Someone that might have been investigating you or just looking into something here and just saw that all that you were doing is just planting seeds. What's this evidence? So, someone you trusted, alliance, someone that you consider family, a bond, family, background, family. Okay? This got something to do with a doggy too. But someone here in the background here, someone that you trusted here, Someone that you may have been in a family or just had a real close bond with is doing this. You're going to, there's an investigation going on. You're going to receive proof that this is someone that you trusted. Somebody in your background as far as family or something like that. This may come by way of divination, a tarot reading. You may be super um, intuitive. You may um, get a reading done or something like that. It's Or you, you know, take it how it resonates here. But you're about to find out. You're about to get the receipts for this. Okay, um, because there's a lesson to learn here. Somebody's about to learn a lesson. Live and learn. So what is this karmic situation trolling your social media platform? Okay. Someone was trying to cause an accident. Someone was trying to injure your platform, injure your reputation, I feel. What's this uh, karmic situation accident? Okay, someone in a depression, the phobia, paranoia, somebody was afraid of you or afraid of, oh, someone was afraid of maybe going to jail or afraid of, afraid of being captive or feeling unfree. This karma situation involves somebody here who's, who is in danger. They're in danger here. And so they're afraid, they're paranoid here because they're afraid of going to jail. Okay, what else? Someone you really, really cared for uh, might have put you in a third party situation. We have third wheel, we have care. That's the parenthood, patron, support, enemy, distrust, flirtatiousness. Someone here is really hurt. They know they're, they're, they know they're in danger here and they're afraid. They're afraid of being stuck in this mess that they've put themselves in. Because they were an enemy or they became distrustful when it came to a current connection here. Oh, I don't want to say this, but... Excuse me, I'm kind of feeling sick to my stomach. Not like real, real sick, but... I feel like this is like a sinking feeling here. Um, there is a strong possibility here that someone may have messed with somebody's, um, 
baby mama, baby daddy. Um, like a husband is messing with the best friend or the best friend is messing with the husband's best friend. I mean, the wife is messing with the husband's best friend. Take it how it resonates here. Someone's afraid of this coming out. Someone is hurting themselves because they know that this is going to come out and they feel trapped and stuck in it. Is it someone you may have a child with? Someone that you have a lot of care for, a lot of support for? They might have shown this to you. But someone here is very distrustful here. Broken promise. Promise is in reverse. Somebody broke a promise to you. That's the confirmation responsible assurance card. Someone that broke a promise to you. I'm not sure. What's this broken promise? Okay, that is a whole lot. So let me try to get. What's this broken promise? Okay, gain is in reverse. And then we have right at the bottom, which is like the mystery magic, like the ceremony card. So there's a broken promise around some sort of um, profitable conclusion here when it came to hexing and cursing somebody. And somebody wants to apologize now and offer something as a bribe or tempt you. Apology inducement is here. Someone broke a promise here trying to, trying to gain from sacrificing you. It didn't work and now they feel sorry and now they want to come and confess that to you. That is the wildest shit, Airbender. It's like, what the fuck? Let's get to some tarot, shall we? Let's see. Actually, let's start with this deck. Somebody must be out there having a good time. They're not really arguing. I think they're just out there like laughing, drinking, you know, being sociable. As long as it's happy energy, I don't mind the noise. It's when it's fighting that I get, I get concerned. You know, I don't like that negative, toxic energy. But I can't control what's going on around me, you know. So someone out here is really, really celebrating here. They're like, I can hear them laughing, joking. I can't hear what they're saying, but they're playing music outside and stuff. So this may be a time for you to celebrate here. Like seriously. Okay. Let that be a sign from the universe. Please, please can me tune into the earth vendors energy. Can you please clarify this karmic situation? I keep hearing that song in my head. Um, all I do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you may be in the energy of like celebrating many wins. Not just one milestone but you have just been through a rough battle just like battle at the battle at the battle at the battle at the battle and people may not have really even noticed these type of battles you were going through they didn't know i mean they might even heard you talk about them but you know how people just like oh yeah you know they don't really pay attention to what you say until it actually comes out as a big achievement that you actually did something humongous you know what i'm saying that type of energy so we could very well you could very well be dealing with you know um you know, a situation where people are just shocked and astonished by how much you've really been through. And now Spirit is saying, it's time to celebrate here. You know, it's time to put a, put all the worries and fears to rest. And let's celebrate. But first, let's describe, I mean, let's clarify this karmic situation here. Damn, right out the, right out the motherfucking gate. We got the Queen of Swords in reverse, which is Libra energy. Lovers reverse, Gemini. So we got Gemini Libra energy here, my airbenders. This is someone who's highly, overly emotional, bitchy, um, oh my goodness, overbearing and pissed off here about a broken connection. This might have been a false twin flame connection. You may have found that out. Um, a, soul, a karmic soulmate tie or just a broken relationship here that had real significance to you. Okay, someone here is pissed the fuck off because you've cut them off here. Or pissed the fuck off because, yeah, something's just not right here. What's this Queen of Swords and the Lovers? Okay, we got the High Priestess in reverse. This has something to do with secrets, um, a hidden agenda. Someone may have had a hidden agenda when it came to this connection. What else, Spirit? Someone was keeping their cards close to their chest when doing something here.
Justice shall be served, though. Justice and Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is like the wish fulfillment. Justice is like, this could be a legal case or just like things being balanced. What's this high priestess? There we go. Knight of Wands. Okay, that's the drive car. Passionate energy. Um, he, sometimes the Knight of Wands can kind of be reckless when he get because he can get overexcited. So someone may have jumped the gun or some on something here, but he's not reversed. But what's this Knight of Wands? That's also player energy. What's this Knight of Wands? Nine of Cups. Okay, somebody here. Hold on. What is this Knight of Cups then? Hold on. Page of Cups. So this may have something to do with a child here. Or communicating their emotions about uh, someone here. Someone here has, someone here has, okay, okay. Someone here is, is really bitchy or upset or mad here because a relationship was broken here because someone was holding back how they really, really felt about somebody. Someone has a lot of energy, a lot of passion, a lot of drive, and they really see someone, this may be you or you may be seeing this person as wish fulfillment here, but someone here that has this wish fulfillment for you and this drive, this player energy for you, like they want to, you know, come do some things. You know, maybe even give you a child. Who knows? But I'm just saying here, someone's wish fulfillment here is you. And maybe they were holding that back from you and not telling you this. And it broke up the connection here. What else? Okay, four of wands reversed. So you may have had a goal in mind, or this person may have had a goal in mind regarding this relationship or this connection here, and it just didn't come to fruition here. Two of cups reversed. This this is not a happy homecoming. Like this is like a missed milestone energy. The magician reversed. Damn, and the hierophant reverse. Ace of Pentacles reversed. The Queen of Cups. Damn. Okay, I got a story to tell you. So check this out. All of these are reversed. We got the Magician, the Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups here. Somebody here that fucked around and, and was in their ego or on, or on some narcissistic ass energy here, or they were manipulated here by a Taurus energy. The Hierophant's Taurus here. Queen of Cups is Cancer in reverse. We got somebody here who... This relationship was not equal give and take. Someone left a relationship that was not equal give and take. It was totally one sided here. Someone missed an opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They dropped the ball. Somebody didn't see you for who you are. This Queen of Cups in reverse, too, can represent a mother figure who's jealous. Or this could talk about self healing, too. So you may have had to go through a lot of self-healing after this broken connection here. This could talk about divorce too with the Harvard reversed. Let me get some more clarification on it. What's that two cups reversed with the four ones? That's a lot of cards, but that's a lot of energy, huh? Okay, we got the seven of cups reversed, the three of cups reversed. Okay, this could be cheating ass energy with the three of cups reverse, third party, or just gossiping ass bitches. They were spinning illusion. Oh, okay. This relate this this connection. This this was a really significant connection here, okay? So this this connection was not you guys were not able to come into union or not able to reconcile or something like that. Or you guys may have broken up and maybe you guys were meant to get back together or talk it out or something. This did not happen because someone was in the background gossiping. A group of people were in the background gossiping about this connection, spinning illusions and, and you know, and chaos here with the seven of cups reverse confusion. They confused this connection here. They might have said there in this gossip here that the truth was that, you know, being with you or you being with this person you care about here would just be bad luck with the will of fortune reverse with the knight of swords someone is someone may have been going around saying like man that's bad luck that's bad karma i wouldn't do that if i were you 
So they might have been doing that fast. Maybe they were telling you that you, you know, needed to heal this connection with this Queen of Pentacles here. Um, Capricorn energy, Earth sign. Or maybe someone needs to communicate a truth here to a Queen of Pentacles and try to heal the connection here. This, okay, this could be read as that this connection got broken up by this gossiping as energy or a cheating situation here, a third party situation, because there was a lot of confusion here and illusions, and this caused the will to remain stuck. But um, this could also talk about how somebody wants to come forth with a truth and communicate with you as a Queen of Pentacles to heal this connection. Queen of Pentacles, she's a businesswoman, so you may have your own business. You may be self-sufficient, independent, a you know, single working parent, you know, like um, you may be able to manifest things. You could also be a white witch, you know, not, you know, like, not like, you know, really doing, power, you know, like spells and stuff, unless that's your thing. But I'm just saying like, you're good. You do protection stuff. You're good. You're not like of the dark energy here. <coughs> <clears throat> Ten of Swords reverse at the bottom. Someone here wants to heal this connection and bring it back to life here. Absolutely. Someone here wants to communicate now. Someone here sees their opportunities come here and they've had a personal transformation with the tower here. They know they made a bad judgment call here. They sure did. They might have breadcrumbed you on this connection, air signs. Okay, let me move to another deck here. Okay. Okay, let's go to this one. Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the frequency of my Airbenders as my Libra, my Gemini, and my Aquarius energies. What is the advice here? Ooh. Alright, we got the Hermit. It came out reverse, but it can very well be upright. That's the isolation, loneliness, withdrawal. You know, like maybe someone may have lost their way here or distancing themselves. That's Virgo energy. What's this Hermit reverse? Has something to do with this connection here. Two of Cups. Um, and the Queen of Swords, Libra energy again, but she's upright this time. Okay, so the advice here is that someone here may, someone here feels lonely or they feel like they've distanced themselves from this partnership. You know, someone here has a mutual attraction with this person here. Cancer energy, Libra energy. Queen of Swords talks about clear boundaries, direct communication, truth, being clear minded. You know, making, uh, she rules based on her logic and not emotion. So someone here that ha may have distanced themselves from this connection or the possibility of this connection has gotten some sort of clear, some sort of clarity about what's going on here. And now they're really to make a logical decision to move forward here. This, they may have been involved with a difficult decision here with the two of swords energy. That's more Libra energy here. Strong Libra here. I'm a Libra too. <laughs> I'm tripping. Okay, but there's a difficult decision to make here. Someone may be weighing out their options. They may have been avoiding the connection here because they had options here. And they didn't know which way to go. What else? The sun reverse. They might have been a little pessimistic about the connection here. They might have been feeling down about it, a little negative. Someone was just kind of careless about it, you know? What else? Okay, we have a Leo card here, the strength. That's about having courage, passion, focus, compassion here. And the King, ooh, King of Cups almost dropped him. He's a uh, Pisces. Okay, so someone here wants to step up to the plate and, and show their strength, their courage, their passion. You know, they, they you know, their inner strength, their focus. Someone here is focused and they're ready now. Okay, they're ready to take the challenge of whatever it takes to fix this connection here. They're emotionally balanced now. They have control. They're being, they want to come through and be seen as a supportive leader, empathetic. The King of Cups, he doesn't show his emotion so much so he can come off as cold. So you may think this person doesn't have these feelings for you or that they may even give it up on a connection. They may not even speak about it. But this person here has strong feelings here. Strong, strong feelings, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, someone here wants to, um, someone here it feels burnt out or overstressed about something. They really want to drop the burdens here when it comes to this connection. 
Okay, Seven of Swords. This is betraying lying as energy. Someone here wants to drop the burden of being sneaky, acting strategically. In other words, it doesn't even have to be that this person was betraying you. It's just that the energy of this person is somebody who is just like kind of being sneaky, like kind of not telling you what they got planned, what they got going on, you know, like kind of keeping things on the low. Someone wants to drop this. They want to come forward and offer you something here. Six of Pentacles here because they want to offer you a gift or something, equal give and take. They want a victory here with the Six of Wands. That's the public recognition victory card. This person felt sad for a minute. Someone here has a lot of regret. They felt like they failed. They felt disappointment in themselves. But the will of fortune is here to provide some sort of positivity, you know, to motivate them. To deliver what they need to say to you and manifest a new beginning here with the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups here. And look, again, Ten of Swords reverse again. Which, you know, again to me, that's trying someone trying to recover or regenerate a broken connection here. So the Wheel of Fortune is turning here for someone to have another chance in love to communicate what they want to do to try to bring this connection back to life here. Manifest something new here and communicate how much they love you. Someone may want to propose to you, tell you how much they're in love with you. That's the Knight in Shining Armor card. Okay. Okay, let me get some, um, some other advice here. Okay. Let me get into the houses, the signs, and the planets for you. My karma cards. Holy Spirit, please keep me tuned into the frequency of my Airbenders, my Leah, uh, my uh, my Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energies. What is the message here for my Airbenders? One. There's two more. These cards are really. There we go. Uh, one second. Oh. Dropped more than what I needed to. Hat slipping off my head. <laughs> right. Together, these cards form sentences, okay? But right now, the energy reads that this is fourth house energy. Gemini is involved here. Um. The second, the third, and the fourth house is involved here with, with Gemini energy. Okay, we've got the fourth house here, which is to support your home base, your family, what makes you feel secure. The Gemini energy is the information to explain, communicating, fluctuations, what you want to be known for, what, what is believed about you. Um, the fourth, okay, I already did that one, I'm sorry. Okay, the third house, your ideas, uh, short-term thinking and trips, who or what is around you. And then we got the second house, which is your beliefs, which you, which you value, and your resources. Let me get the message here. Okay, so when it comes to your ideas, your beliefs, what makes you feel secure... You may have a lot of information to explain to someone about this. This is about communicating from the heart. Spirit is asking you to be patient with yourself and others as you have done in the past. Be patient about what you want to be known about you. Have, let, allow people to have patience with you by making the right connections. Okay, let me get some guys. Ooh. See, I almost had this new booty at the bottom. She's naked, so I can't show her on camera. She likes to flash her good. She has no shame. <laughs> so this guy has something to do with sacred lust here. <laughs> okay. Holy Spirit, please keep me in tune into the frequency of my airbenders. What is the takeaway advice here? So again, you have second... Third and fourth house energy here. Your support, your home base, your resources, what's around you. And then you got Gemini energy here. Fluctuations. What is, what is to be believed about you? What's to be known? What you want to be known? Communication here. Um, information that needs to be explained. So it looks like there's somebody here that has a lot of explaining to do. Like someone here may really be like, may have like a really ignorant misunderstanding about something here. And there's a lot of communication needs to be brought forth here. Okay, what we got for my airbenders?
feeling safe, Tatuba, you are safe, okay? It is okay for you to feel vulnerable, I mean, to be vulnerable, okay? You may be, you may have had your guard up all the time. Um, you may have experienced some sort of attacks, whether they're spiritual, physical, emotional, you name it. And right now you may have had your guard up and you're probably afraid to let it down to let someone in to communicate with you. It is safe for you to be vulnerable at this time, my airbender, so that someone can communicate with you. You may have your guards up when it comes to this person that wants to talk to you about something and fix something here. What else? It is okay it's for you to feel safe around this energy, okay? Yeah, you're having an awakening here, Yamaya. Okay, she's pregnant, you know, and she's happy and joyful. You know, someone here may be having a spiritual awakening to their gift, to their abundance here. Um, this may have something to do with, you know, um, working overseas, working with the ocean, marine biology. I love dolphins. They're beautiful. Spirit is asking you to speak up for yourself on what you believe and what you want and what you want people to know about you. Speak up and brazen, which means be bold, be brazen. Like, don't be afraid to express who you are, what you want, you know, and, and be creative. What else, Spirit? That one. Manifestation. You are an Alase. Lasse is a Ruba term for a great manifester, okay? You can manifest anything you want, okay? Manifestation is upon you. Spirit is just asking you to just speak it and believe in it when you speak it and just thank the universe after you've put out that affirmation, that manifestation. It's going to happen, whether it's a relationship, whether it's money, whether it's um, some sort of abundance or family being back together. You can manifest anything you want. Anything. Like if, if you have a poor connection with your family and your friends and you want to kind of restore it or whatever, you can manifest that. You know, I mean, it's up to you. You know, and up to your situation, of course, too, and up to spirit, you know, what's best for you. But you are a great manifester and you may have a lot of gifts coming in. You may discover these new spiritual gifts. I feel like someone here is being spiritually elevated. In a, I mean, like ascending in vibration here. They're being spiritually promoted. Their, their gifts are going to come out and they're going to see how well and how fast they can manifest things. This could also speak to things manifesting fast here into liberation for you after being betrayed. Okay, so someone here may have betrayed you or you may find out someone was betraying you and you're going to be liberated here. You're manifesting your liberation after this betrayal here. Okay, and you have good juju coming. Okay, it's time for you to level up. Level up good juju. So, airbenders, that is your reading. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I really did. It was really fun to be able to read this for you. Um, before I go, I want to thank you again for all the love and support that you guys are showing me and Odin in the channel, okay? Please continue to thumbs it up for me. I love you guys. God bless you all, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.